Hi guys, it's Rick Shields down here at Prairie Sports Village. Going to test out the new Even Roll ER6. This is a mallet designed putter with the technology that we have seen in Even Roll putters before, i.e., the, the face thickness and thinning of the grooves. Clever design from Gary Reif, um, but in a very different style. Big mallet head with three very simple lines on top. This comes in black and I think it comes in red as well. And in the center column, right down the center column there's a big weight and that weight is helping the putter stay stable for one and also help it continue on a um, a good pendulum a good a good um yeah pendulum is the best way of describing it it's almost like if you would imagine a big battering ram on big pieces of rope and then we swing that it's not going to move too much side to side it might do in this wind today to be fair but normally it shouldn't do and the idea for that that big weight in the middle is putters are not allowed to be and i didn't know this until recently they have to be wider than they are front to back so you couldn't have a putter that's really long with a really thin face you could have a putter that had a very wide face and was only a short back so you could have a mega wide blade but you can't have a mega thin face and a super mallet the rules in golf so you can't do that. So Gering Rife has created this putter to get around those issues. Um, ER1 is the putter I've used before, the blade style. And I've been using this a couple of times on the golf course. The mallet design gives a lot of confidence when you set up behind the ball. Certainly those big three lines, as I address this ball now, I feel like I've got a lot of guidance to where that putter face is aiming. It also then is complemented by some even more added effects, almost like groove type uh, features on top in black. And then these two really deep canvases that highlight that middle weighted section in the middle of the head. So as soon as I set that down, because of its big wide base and all of that alignment is helping me hopefully aim that pretty straight. Nice fat handle on the grip. Let's give this a roll. And what I've found with this putter is because of its weight, it feels, it does feel stable as I put. It feels like when I rock it back and forth, there's a level of stability within the putter. And that for me is the nicest feature of this putter. I hit that poorly. I hit that in the heel. But because of the groove technology on the face, where it's allowing off-centered hits, as bad as that put was, it's still getting to the hole because there's, there's more face interaction the more away from the middle of the putter face you get. If you hit the middle of the putter face, the ball actually has less interaction on the face. So it dampens the blow. Therefore, not massively maximizing speed, or at least doing its best, but encouraging the spin, the top spin, the, the roll, where the side sections of the putter, the toe and the heel, the grooves are closer together. So if we do miss middle, which I do often, that the ball will still roll and still maximize speed. So we'll still get the ball up to the hole. And I've found that on off-centered putts with this. Let's go again. More of a toey strike that time, but still got there. Yeah, nice roll. It does feel good off the face. It feels like a very soft feel, even though it looks like a big lump of metal. You actually get quite a lot of soft feel from the face. That's a whole one eventually, didn't I? Just a very good feeling putter. You get a lot of confidence from it. I think that's the main objective from the putter. Once you set it up behind the ball, there seems to be a lot of confidence boosting kind of components to it. And I would say that's where this putter sits itself in what type of golfer it's gonna go for. It's, it's designed more for a golfer that may struggle with alignment, who wants as much alignment aid as possible, a golfer that also wants help off-centered hits, which definitely helps, and this is a face balance putter. And face balance putters often don't twist as much. They don't have as much kind of toe flow to it. The face doesn't rotate as much. And again, for let's say inconsistent golfers, that's a good kind of putter to have. And this is why I've been using it a little bit more on the golf course, is that it doesn't, it restricts twisting. It restricts the actual twist of the putter face.
For me, those lines play a very powerful part in the whole design of this putter. I like the idea of that weight going through the middle. That gives me confidence of knowing that weight is there to help me. But those lines are just so clear and long and the white and the black contrast really stand out. I think this putter also comes in red with the white lines, but I got it in the black, the stealth model. I don't know if it's actually called stealth model, but that's what I'm calling it. And it does feel good on long putts as well. I hit a few long putts earlier on and it does feel good off those. Off centered hits, I did see more of a drop off on performance. I saw more come off, come up short when I did hit toe and heel. For me, I'm only finding those toe and heel components to happen really within putt lengths of 15 feet. Once I start to get further out than that, I start to see off centered hits. You don't quite get the same result. The ball's not quite getting to the hole enough. Well, the short ones, they are still. That's the only thing I would say on those uh, face, the face, uh, grooves that shorter puts you get the same speed on sh on the roll you don't seem to sacrifice any distance but on longer puts they start to suffer as any putter would let's go a couple more see if i can hold these two in a row big pull aimed it straight but pulled the putter like that i need to let that battering ram do its work Oh, one more. You can still see they get into the hole. Let's say the chance of holding every one of these is slim. At least I'm giving it a chance. <laughs> the feel for me off the putter is great. I love the look of the design of this putter. The middle section of the putter, the battering ram, gives me confidence regardless of what technology it's actually doing. I think it looks very smart. I don't think it's going to suit a lot of people's eye with it being so big. I think a big putter sometimes you start to lose golf certainly more traditional looking golfers they don't like that big massive putter they like more of a blade putter but it kind of does what it needs to do and i do like it i do like it a lot so yeah as an overall putter i love the features of it i just don't think it's going to suit everyone's eye the one thing i have got a massive issue with and i hate this every time i've had this and the er1 the head covers are pretty cool by the way the white i wish it in the black when it came in black and red potentially but every one the two head putters i've had so far have had a magnet on the head cover for the marker. Both ones I've lost. Both markers I've lost already. Doesn't last long. So either do something about that, make the magnets tackier, and that's that I've put them on there and they've lost during play. I've not lost, put it in my pocket and lost it. They've lost it during play. Uh, Eva Roll Putter, there's loads of different putters in the line. I love the idea of the face technology, certainly on the shorter putts. Longer, I start to see more of a drop off in performance as you would do on most of them. Feel great, and different designs are suiting different eyes as well. Gary Rife, the guy designed these, I got to meet him in January. Great character, um, and, and really knows a lot about putters a lot about putters guys thanks for watching hopefully you've enjoyed the video if you have give it a thumbs up comment below what do you think of the even roll ideas technologies what do you think about the er6 i'm going to finish on this hole in this putt this has to go in if this goes in i want you to comment and congratulate me oh don't bother guys thanks for watching and we'll see you next time